So Outriders is a game many many people thought was going to be at least in some way or another a rival to Destiny in terms of offering a great loot shooter with longevity which keeps people playing and happy for a long while. But in reality was this ever the purpose of this game? Did people can fly set out to bring you this kind of game? We are what 6 to 7 weeks after release now? Closing in on 2 months and what we've seen so far in terms of what people expected for the most part has been there. Problem is, for a game like this to last beyond its problems, it needs consistent content. This is where I feel people overhyped what was and what was going to be with Outriders. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. So Outriders in theory is a great game. At release and still ongoing there are problems with the game though. These will eventually be ironed out, leaving a fully playable and enjoyable game. The problem is, in my opinion by the time this game is free of those major bugs, the majority of its player base will have moved on. I'll put that controller down in terms of playing this game. And the reason they have moved on for the most part is due to lack of content. They get to the end of the campaign, they are met with a great endgame and those challenge tier expeditions, where the farming really starts. Now this is the kind of thing most players really enjoy about these kinds of games, and while Outriders offered it in abundance. The problem is, once you've reached top level, got those legendaries, created an amazing build, players from here simply slow down on that game time, and well, in reality, reach out and play other games. I myself for the most part, all of my friends who are playing, a lot of my community, we haven't moved on but we have put it aside in hopes of some kind of DLC eventually coming. And this is where I feel the problem lies. This game was intended to be a one and done. People can fly admitted this themselves. They didn't expect people to play the game the way they did. This was apparent in the early days of the demo. People can fly in reality, in my opinion, hit the jackpot in terms of a looter shooter, but at the same time got lucky in doing so. And it surprised them. The demo was great, it hit great, and it led many to believe the full game was going to be the same. It was in a way, but that loot just came way way quicker than expected, meaning overall expected grind time dropped massively. Now back to people can fly being surprised by the way we play these kinds of games. This isn't promising either as like I said, I heard on very good merit that this was going to be a one and done game. Meaning once you complete it, once you get what you need, build what you want, don't have a challenge left, it's normal to move on and people can fly planned it this way, as crazy as it seems. An interview with People Can Fly not long after release confirmed also that DLC wasn't out the window and depending on the release date and response of the game, the way it was received, DLC might one day come. This confirms at release, no DLC was in the works. Now People Can Fly also did say that the game at release would be a full game, they ain't going to sell us half a game and then sell us the other half as DLC. And that is what happened, we got a full game at release. And it was met with a decent response. But soon after that release, the game had many many problems, many problems came and appeared. People can fly were no doubt then working on the many issues they didn't expect to come, taking away the workforce from no doubt working on any future content. People can fly in response somewhat a month later rewarded players with the best loot in the game, which was also met with negative feedback due to them actually taking the reason for these players to play the game out of the equation. I mean give everyone the best loot in the game. In reality there's nothing left for them to play for, because right now that's all we have, we only have loot to chase once you get to that end game. Now they could have done this for two reasons, the first being they just wanted the remaining player base to be happy while they fixed the remaining bugs and then move on from the game, like I said, that one and done game. Or they don't mind rewarding players with the best loot in the game because sooner or later it won't mean much because new content is coming. Personally, I feel it's because they just wanted the game within a state where they can just leave the game, finishing the original plan of the game being that one and done. I mean, I understand if DLC comes, they give us an extra two levels. I mean, we got real early uh, data mined images of weapons and armor being a level 52. I mean, if they dropped an extra few levels on armor and weapons, all that perfect rolled loot that they handed out would be useless. I can see in either way, I mean they could easily drop a simple update, a patch which wouldn't take long for them to do at all, where they up the loot levels, 
I mean, once this game is fixed and free of bugs, they may just do that. They may just up that loot level. Just a couple of levels would be absolutely fine. Therefore, all that loot everyone was handed out, where a lot of the people that got that loot didn't deserve it or even need it or were old it or anything like that. I myself, I got 20 legendaries top level. I mean, I lost nothing, but I was still rewarded some of the best loot in the game. But yeah, if they did drop a couple of extra levels on loot we can farm for, all that loot would be absolutely pointless. So I can understand it from that point of view as well. I actually feel though this is how they see the game right now, that one and done. Like I mentioned earlier, People Can Fly said, future content depends on how the game is received at release. So answer me this, how was this game received at release? Because it wasn't great at all. Yes, many, many thousands of us enjoyed it, but many, many thousands of people did not. Due to the bugs, glitches, server issues, problems, connectivity, I mean, you name it, this game had it. But I won't lie to you. Even with the bugs, the glitches, the server issues and problems, I still feel Outriders is a great game. The only thing I worry about is now if these people can fly are wondering if future content is even worth the effort. Because again, like I said, they themselves said it depends on how the game is received at release. Now with the game being planned as a one and done, not a live service game and was never going to get that frequent post launch content, I feel the game has been good. For what it's meant for, it has been great. Again though, this was never supposed to be the game it ended up being. It was never supposed to be that live service game and let's not lie to ourselves, it was never going to kill the likes of Destiny. The fact people are saying the game is dead now because players have stopped playing because they have done everything is absolutely idiotic. This was always going to happen. If the LC is announced at maybe E3, if the LC does come and drop big things which add to that in-game grind we all love, the player population will shoot back up and this is also to be expected. So is Outriders dead? No, far from it. There are still many, many people still playing this game on a daily basis. But in terms of it reaching the levels expected and those numbers we saw around release, changes will have to be made and future content will have to be right. But Outriders is not dead, it's a good enough game and a great enough base foundation to have many people, including myself, interested for the future of it. If people can fly, decide there's one there. Only time will tell here people. But let me know your thoughts on this down below within that comment section. I am seeing so many people say the game is dead. I am seeing so many people say it will not make a comeback. So just let me know your thoughts on this down below. Like I said, I believe the game was always planned to be a one and done. And if it's received well at release, like People Can Fly said, future DLC may arrive. But I ain't done with the game yet, guys. I've still got videos to make. I'm still enjoying it for the most part. I've still got Legendaries to chase. I never burn myself out at release. I've still only got one character leveled up to the max. So I've still got plenty to play for. I'm just taking my time. But yes, on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.